Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tinkfro and welcome back to another episode of Exile Craft. And as you can see, I just defeated the Wither and got myself another Nether Star and a pretty cool head. But that's not the only special thing. Today is episode 10. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it into double digits and that is so, so exciting. I am so very thankful for each and every one of you guys that come out to watch my videos. It is really and truly a humbling experience. So thank you all ever so much. However, this episode, I have decided that I want to do a little bit of beautification. As you can see, I haven't really done much work on the cliffs apart from just that little bit. So I'm thinking we build up the cliff get all that sorted out, we get the river all nice and pretty, I have some really cool ideas for it, uh, we get that river which I made all up and running, and I'm thinking maybe even fill that area up with farms for now, since I don't have anything planned for there just yet, and I'm very excited to announce that we shall have our very own flag soon. So, let's get right into a time lapse and get this whole river done! And there we have it guys, oh boy, I think this whole area is looking just absolutely fantastic, I am so happy with it. Alright, so let's start off with the cliff. So as you can see, I basically just mixed in some cobblestone, mixed in some andesite, and just made the cliff face all very nice and tidy. I also added some leaves just to give it a little bit of life, same on the other side, and yeah, I think it looks pretty epic. But let's talk about the actual river because again it is looking absolutely fantastic so on the riverside we just got these what are these called lilacs yeah so we have some lilacs i don't know kind of like a water plant kind of next to the uh next to the river some sugarcane because why not and then on the river you can see that we've got some lily pads but I've also made my own type of flowers. So these are actually pretty simple, right? So they're just like a trapdoor with some uh, fan corals on top of them. And I just added an item frame with a concrete block to finish them off and give it that extra little bit of detail. And I've had two variations, so the pink one and the red one. And I just think they look, you guessed it, amazing. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, one extra detail I want to talk about is these artificial reeds that I've made. So as you can see, I've like put them out all throughout the riverside, basically everywhere, and they're actually quite simple to make. So they're essentially just some waterlogged green glass panes with pots on top. And you know, they're those like uh, canes where like, uh, what are they? Like dragonflies lay their eggs and you can always find them like uh, during the springtime. And yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Like uh, waterlogged features are always really, really epic. And for the actual seabed, I just went around with literally four stacks of bone meal and like a whole bunch of sea pickles just to give that extra little bit of light. And I am so, so happy with how it's looking. Now, I also said that we would have a flag and that we do as you can see the colors are blue and orange actually my two favorite colors and uh, we'll get a little bit more into that a little bit later on but i want you guys to see that i have turned this whole area like basically south of this river into 
a bit of a farm. So I want to turn all this area into a farm because I'm going to leave it blank for now. And that is because I want to start building on the other side of the river. So let's go check out what I have in mind for the flag and then we'll get all that sorted out. Okay, so as you can see, I've been playing around with banners and uh, I don't, I'm not very good at it, but you know, I like where it's going. So I definitely want to have like this flower pattern like on the actual banner, but I'm not sure how exactly I want to do that. Now, out of all these six, I do quite like this one a lot. I might be a bit biased because I actually had to use up one of my wither skulls to get that banner pattern. So you can see I only have one left, um, but that's all right. So yeah, I think I want to go with this one. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys have some suggestions. I definitely want the colors to be blue and orange. Like I said, they are my favorite colors. Um, but for the actual design, I am, you know, I want to say I'm open-minded to it. Oh, hello. How did, how did you get here? What the heck? Get the hell out of here. No, no, no. I said I wanted to start planning out stuff on this side. And that really is all I want to do. I want to just plan out where the roads are going to be and what type of buildings are going to go where. So, I'm going to go to sleep real quick, get rid of all these bad boys and, uh, We'll go ahead and do that. Alrighty, so we're once again perched atop this tree. And as you can see, I've laid out a rough plan for where I want the roads to be. So you can see I've just laid out some stone bricks. And I basically wanted to snake around, get super close over there, just have like a bit of a green area over there, and then come back and maybe we'll build a proper bridge there one day. And then another one that connects up to this main avenue that we're gonna have here. But I just remembered, I then show you guys the amazing work that I actually did up inside this cave. So as you can see, we have these bins and I've used concrete powder as kind of like pulverized bits of this. And you can see I finished the uh, decorating of each individual room. And yeah, I feel like these bins really add that little bit of extra detail. And I really, really love how it looks. And we didn't do it just for this one. So we have it for our diamond pile over too. We've used the light blue over here. We have it for coal, of course. And what I think looks the absolute best, the gold. I mean, that really looks like gold beads. <laughs> I really, really love how it looks. And yeah, I really like how all the caves are looking all finished up. Now, I also did work on this one. I told you guys I didn't finish it off last time because I ran out of resources. But yes, yeah, so you can see I've made this like the main, I guess, room over here. And we just have like a whole bunch of these bins of pulverized <laughs> bits and minerals and whatnot. But yeah, I've put up this like a uh, bit of a rail track over here because I want to be able to essentially reach bedrock or at least where I'm mining um, from this place. And uh, yeah, I've used up quite a bit of gold, um, not just with the ores, but with these rail tracks too. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love it. I think it's all looking absolutely fantastic. And you know what? The heads are really looking and coming together quite nicely in this build. I'm very happy with it indeed. Now, let me get that road up above all finished up and I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, guys. And there we have it. We have a completed path. Now, as you can see, it is a tiny bit different than what I have actually been building on the other side over here on the industrial side. Um, so yeah, I ended up added a little bit of diorite here and there just to give it a little bit more color. I don't know, I felt like that was a little bit too dull. Um, but do let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about the diorite. Do you guys think it looks okay? I personally think it looks quite good. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. Um, so yeah, I basically just followed up that little bit of a path that I laid out. But yeah, so what I want to do now is just really quickly put a bit of a house over here and uh, just to set the mood and uh, see where that goes. All right, so the first thing I did, as always, was build a bit of a skeleton and, uh, well, I ended up using some trapdoors just for the parts that would jut out. Next up, I simply filled it up, very similar to the other build that we did with the bricks, the diorite and the white concrete to make it look like peeling paint. I don't know, I just really loved how that building turned out, so thought I'd use it again. 
Next, I just slapped a really nice spruce roof on it using that very simple A-frame that I like to use and did the same thing on the other side too. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Finally, I ended up adding a little bit of detail. So I put up some spruce fences on the sides. I ended up using some andesite cobblestone on the uh, stone brick wall. And yeah, filled in the windows, put in some doors, and I think it turned out pretty good. Also want to note, I swapped out the trap doors for some slabs. All right, guys, and there you have it. The first building, or I'm going to call commercial building, on this side of town. And I think, and I think it turned out really, really epic. I really love how it looks. I really liked um, that color palette with the bricks, diorite, and concrete. And I feel like I didn't do it justice with that building, so I thought I'd use it again for this building. And yeah, I think it turned out looking really, really epic. I love how I used these uh, fences over here. I just feel like it gave it that much more life. And I look forward to basically populating this whole area with them and uh, basically creating the other side of town. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this build. Um, do you like this little L shape over here where it just kind of juts out? I think I could do some working. So I realized I probably should redo the pathway. Um, yeah, but that's all right. Um, but anyway, guys, that, I'm afraid, is just about it for this episode of ExileCraft. Thank you all ever so much once again. We have reached 10 episodes, which is just absolute bonkers in my opinion. To be honest, we have gotten a lot of work done. And I'm really, really happy with how it's all looking. So yeah, I'm excited to see what the next 10 episodes will bring. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe as I'll be making a lot more videos like this. Also, I just want to say guys, uh, make sure to check out my second channel. I actually built um, five shrines and temples in Minecraft. I built like a Spanish mission, built like a Parthenon, a Japanese temple, and I even built Notre Dame. So yeah, definitely go check out my second channel. I would really appreciate it if you guys did. But anyway guys, until next time. This has been your boy Tinkfro. Thank you all very much for watching.